Hi, I'm Emily from The Blue Mouse, and today I'm going to teach you how to work the heart lace stitch. As always, everything is written down in the description if you would rather have written instructions, but if not, I will show you how to do this row by row. You will need a multiple of 13 stitches, and this is a 16 row repeat. Your first row is a right side row, so if you did something like a long tail cast on, you'll need to work one purl row to get yourself back to a right side row, okay? So row one, which is a right side row, is worked as a repeat of knit five, knit two together, yarn over, knit six. And that is repeated until the end. So go ahead and work the knit five, okay? And now we're going to knit two stitches together. So in order to do this, we go into the next two stitches in their front loops and knit them together as if it was one stitch. So go into the front loops like you were just going to knit them. See, just like you're going to knit them, yarn over, pull a loop through and slide off your left hand needle. And now we work a yarn over, so bring the yarn over your right hand needle front to back and then knit six. And then you just repeat that until you get to the end of your row. And then at the end of your row, you can go ahead and turn your work. And for row two and all other wrong side rows or even numbered rows, you're going to purl every stitch. And then for row three, which is another right side row, we're gonna work a repeat of a knit five yarn over S2KP2, that's all one thing, yarn over and then a knit five. That should all be on the screen if that's confusing you at all. And an S2KP2, is a double decrease, and I'll show you how to do that when we get there. But first we're gonna knit five and then yarn over. So go ahead and do that. So we've knitted five and now we're gonna yarn over. So bring the yarn over the right needle from front to back. And then you can just kinda hold on to that with your right index finger. And now we're gonna work that S2KP2. And that is when you slip two stitches together as if to knit and then you knit one, and then you pass those two slip stitches over that knit stitch and off the needle. So keep that yarn over on your needle, and we're gonna slip the next two stitches as if to knit. So we're gonna go into the next two as if we were just gonna knit them. So this is very similar to a knit two together. You go into the front loops of both of these stitches, right? And instead of knitting them, we're just gonna slip them to the right hand needle. And now we're gonna knit the next stitch normally, and now you're gonna go into those two slip stitches here and pass them over the knit stitch and off the needle. So go into them from left to right into their front loops like this, okay? And now we're gonna pull them over the knit stitch and off. So you might wanna hold that knit stitch with your index finger and pull those two over and off, okay? And then now to finish our repeat, we're gonna yarn over and knit five. So yarn over from front to back and knit five. And that's it for the repeat. So go ahead and repeat that to the end of the row. And I'll show that S2KP2 once again. So hold on to your yarn over. We're gonna slip the next two stitches as if to knit and we're gonna do them together. So you wanna go into the front loops of both of these stitches, okay? See how I'm getting just the front loops? Now we're not gonna knit them, we're gonna slip them to your right hand needle. So just go ahead and slide your right hand needle up and there you go. And now you're ready to knit the next stitch. And then we're gonna go into the front loops of these two stitches here from left to right. Hold on to that knit stitch at the end and pull these two slip stitches over and off. Okay? And that again was your S2KP2. And that is row three. Now go ahead and work row four, which as all wrong side rows are, we're going to purl it. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here for row five. And now that you're ready to work row five, this is a repeat of a knit four, yarn over, knit two together, knit one, SSK, yarn over, knit four. Now that's all on the screen for you to read. So let's just break this down bit by bit. We're going to start out with a simple knit four. So go ahead and knit four stitches. And now we're going to yarn over. So bring the yarn over the right side needle from front to back. And then you'll probably wanna hold on to that with your right index finger. And now we're going to knit two stitches together. So this is really simple. We've basically already done it. 
So if you need to, you can kind of, with your thumb and your left index finger, kind of pull down the stitches just a little bit so you can more easily see the front loops of these next two stitches. But you're just going to go into the front loops of the next two stitches, like that. Yarn over, pull a loop through, and slide those two off your left hand needle. Okay, so that was a knit two together. And now we're going to knit one stitch normally. And now we're gonna work an SSK, which is a slip, slip, knit. So I do a modified version that I think looks neater. So you're gonna go into the first stitch as if to knit. So go into it as if to knit, but just slip it to your right hand needle. And then go into the next stitch as if to purl and slip it. So into it as if to purl from right to left, slip it to your right hand needle. And now you're gonna bring your left hand needle into the front loops of those two stitches like that. And now that your needles are crisscrossed, you're actually just gonna knit them together. So bring the yarn around your right hand needle from front to back and pull a loop through, okay? And then you can slide those off your left hand needle. And then we're gonna work a yarn over and a knit four. So bring the yarn around your right hand needle from front to back and knit four. So there you have it. That is how you work the repeat for row five. Go ahead and do that until the end of your row and I'll meet you at the end for row six. And after row five, you're ready to turn your work and work row six, which as all wrong side rows, is just a purl row. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you back here for row seven. And then for row seven, we're gonna work a repeat of a knit three, yarn over, knit two together, knit three, SSK, yarn over, knit three. And again, that's all on the screen if that seems like a lot. So let's break it down. We're gonna work a knit three. So go ahead and knit three stitches. And now we're gonna work a yarn over. So bring the yarn around the right needle from front to back. And then you're gonna to wanna to hold that with your right index finger. And now we're gonna work a knit two together. So go into the next two stitches as if to knit, yarn over from front to back, pull a loop through, and then slide those two off your left hand needle. And now we're gonna knit three. So go ahead and do that. And now we're gonna work an SSK. So we've done this before. Go into that first stitch as if to knit, but just slip it to your right hand needle. Go into the next stitch as if to purl, but slip it to your right hand needle. Bring your left hand needle into the front loops of those two stitches, and then we're gonna knit them together. So yarn over and pull a loop through, and then slide those two off your left hand needle. Now we're gonna yarn over. So bring the yarn from front to back over the right hand needle, knit three, And that is your repeat. You're just gonna go ahead and do that as many times as you need until you get to the end of your row. And then after that, row eight is just a wrong side row. So you're just gonna purl it and I will meet you back here for row nine. And now we're about halfway done. So you can kind of see the bottom of the heart starting to take shape and we're ready to work row nine. So row nine is a repeat of a knit two, yarn over, knit two together, knit five, SSK, yarn over, knit two. All of that is on the screen right now and we're going to break it down. So go ahead and knit two. Now we're going to work a yarn over. So we know that we bring the yarn over the right hand needle from front to back, hold on to it a little bit, and then knit two together. So go into the front loops of these two stitches, yarn over, pull through a loop, slide them off your left hand needle. And now we're going to knit five. So go ahead and do that. And then we're gonna work an SSK. So go into the first stitch as if to knit, but slip it. Go into the next stitch as if to purl, but slip it. Bring your left hand needle into the front loops of both of those. Yarn over and pull through a loop. And then slide those off your left hand needle. Now we're gonna yarn over, so front to back, and then knit two. Okay, that was pretty simple, right? And now I'll go ahead and repeat that until you get to the end of the row. And then row 10, as all wrong side and even numbered rows, you're going to purl it. And I will meet you back here for row 11. And then for row 11, we're gonna work a repeat of a knit one, yarn over, knit two together, knit seven, SSK, yarn over, knit one. And as always, that's on the screen. So to get started, we're going to work a knit stitch. Go ahead and knit one. Then we're gonna work a yarn over. So bring the yarn over your right hand needle front to back. Hold on to it with your index finger and knit the next two stitches together. So go into the front loops of these, 
yarn over and pull a loop through, slide off, okay? And next we're gonna knit seven, so go ahead and do that. And now we're gonna work in SSK, which we know how to do. Slip as if to knit, slip as if to purl, into the front loops of both, yarn over and pull through, slide off, okay? Now we're gonna work a yarn over and knit the final stitch, and that is your repeat. You can go ahead and repeat that as many times as you need until you get to the end of your row, and then work row 12, which is a purl row, and I will meet you back here for row 13. So you can really start to see the bottom of the heart here now. And so for row 13, we're gonna work an SSK, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, S2, K, P2, yarn over, knit three, yarn over, knit two together, repeat. And I know that sounds like a lot, but we'll break it down. So we're going to begin with an SSK. So go into the first stitch as if to knit, but just slip it to your right hand needle. Into the second as if to purl, but just slip it. And then go into the front loops of both of those stitches, yarn over and pull a loop through, and then slide them off. And now we're going to work a yarn over. So over the right needle, front to back, hold on to it and knit three. Now we're going to yarn over again, and now we're gonna work that S2 KP2 again. So remember, that is when you slip two stitches together as if to knit, and then you knit one, and then you pass those two slip stitches over the knit one and off. So hold on to that yarn over, and then you're going to go into the next two stitches as if to knit. So kind of like you're working in it two together, but just slip them to your right hand needle and then knit the next stitch. And then you're going to go into the front loops of those two slip stitches again, but just slip them with your left hand needle and then pass them over the knit stitch and off the needle. Okay. Now we're going to work another yarn over and then knit three. And now we're going to work another yarn over and then knit two together. So into the next two stitches as if to knit and then knit them together and slide off, okay? So that is how you work the repeat for row 13. Go ahead and repeat that as many times as you need until you get to the end of the row. And then you're going to turn your work and work row 14, which is a purl row, and I will meet you back here for row 15. All right, you're in the home stretch now. Your work should look something like this. And for our final right side row, we're gonna work a repeat of a knit one, SSK, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two together, knit one, SSK, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit two together, knit one. And that is a mouthful. So that is on the screen and everything as always is written in the description and we're gonna break it down together. So go ahead and knit one and then we're gonna work an SSK, which we know how to do, right? Go ahead and slip the first as if to knit Slip the second as if to purl into the front of those two loops. Yarn over, pull through. Next, we're gonna do a yarn over, so bring it over the right hand needle. Hold on to it, and you're gonna work a knit one. And now we're gonna work another yarn over, so around that right needle, hold on to it. And we're gonna work a knit two together. So go into the next two stitches in their front loops as if to knit. Yarn over, pull a loop through and slide off. Now we're gonna work just a knit stitch, so knit one. And now we're gonna work an SSK. So slip one as if to knit, slip one as if to purl, into the front loops of both, yarn over and pull through. Now we're gonna work a yarn over, a knit one, another yarn over, and then we're gonna work another knit two together. So into the next two stitches as if to knit, pull a loop through and slide off. And that is the repeat for this row. Go ahead and repeat that as much as you need until you get to the end of the row. And for row 16, we're gonna purl it. And I'll meet you here after that. So at the end, it may be hard to see, but once you block it or steam it, you'll start to see the texture. So you can kinda see that it looks like a heart, right? Now, if you're making this into something, you'll probably want some stitches that are just knit stitches on either side as an edging so that you can see the heart better. 
But there you go. If you look at it in the right light with all the with a dark background, you can see it. 